Hey guys, Ginger Gargoyle here with another very boring and tedious how-to video. This one concerns the cut ya bag. Now on the inside you can see pictures of all the bags that she has available. Okay. And you get four of these boxes. Now they come in this way and you open them up and you bend them on the pre-scored lines, all right? Everything except the tab lines, okay? Here are the tab lines. You don't want to bend on that. Now, you have your choice. These go on the inside, all right? Or these can go on the outside. If you're going to do it this way. Okay, now I left the plastic on this so that I can show you guys how you peel the plastic off. Where's the plastic? The plastic. Okay, there's just a coating on this. It's a clear coating. Come on. Hang on, guys. I gotta get a hold of it again. Okay. All right, and you just peel this off. And this is just basically to prevent the outside of the box from getting scratched up during shipping. All right, but you can see this makes it very clear. So, where did I put my flashlight? I was going to put my little headlamp on, and then that way it would reflect. But I think I can do it this way just so the ceiling one goes. Okay, now you can either tab it from the inside coming out. All right, for that one I suggest putting this out the side flap or the bottom flap on the outside or you can put it from the outside going in this is the way I prefer it okay and then this comes on the outside and you go from the outside going in all right and you get four of these in your bag or with your bag See, you just line up the tabs. There's two tabs. Or actually, four tabs, because you got two on this side, two on this side. They line up. You put in the tab. I suggest always putting in the top tab first, and then the one on the bottom. I've tried doing it the other way. I found this easier, at least for me. All right. And then you just slide it in your Katya bag. Now, I'm going to lift you guys up. The Katya bag is 12 inches long, excuse me, 12 inches long, 5 inches high, and 3 and a half inches wide. So if you want, you could use this to hold index cards, three and a half, 5 by 3 and a half, but they'll be going in this way. Okay, they'll be going in the tall way. This was actually designed for holding the smaller stamp sets. Kind of like the ones that you get for the specialty things for at the, um, like the, 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 uh, the shop that didn't hop her annual sale. She always gives away a free stamp and die set. It's meant to hold those. It's a little bit wider than Distress Inks going this way. And it's just a little bit narrower going widthwise. Okay. You can use it for storing paint. All right, these are just two paints that I had. And these bottles are, come on, focus please. These are two fluid ounces. All right, so I've got two of those wide. You can use it to hold your your glitter glue, or not your glitter glue, but your glittered glue. These are Nouveau Drops. You can use it to hold your Distress Reinkers or Stainers. All right. Now, there is a little extra room in here. I did, could not get this bottle in. This is one of my sprayers. And this is um, from my Artsy... And I want to say that this is my structure paste. Uh, yes, this is my structure paste. 
Okay. So, that's what this is. All right, and then it's got these two outside Velcro or hook and loop closures. You put those on and you close it up like this. Now, it has the loop for going in and out. You're going to want to keep an eye on your, your refills and your paints if you're going to use this for that. Here's my lowest bag. It just fits right inside. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, that's it for now, guys. I will have one more video of the items which I bought from Totally Tiffany, which I got this week. Actually, I got them from Paper Wishes, but the manufacturer was Totally Tiffany. I get absolutely nothing for doing these videos, guys. So when I'm giving you an opinion, I'm giving you my honest opinion. Um, I like these bags. I really do. I think they're great for organizing. They're great for travel. And that's really what I need them for, is to get from my home to my resort to wherever I'm doing my crafting back to my home and then wherever I do my crafting. But it's easy to keep things in one spot. It's easy to find and it's neat. Okay, it's neat and it's clean. So, that's it for now, guys. I will talk to you all later. Oh, one thing that she did suggest, which I hadn't thought of before, is to cut out the name of the buddy bag and put it in the bottom of the buddy bag so that later on, when you, if you decide you need another one, you know which one to get. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.